Peace was good. Welcome to Hip Hop Hour Review Part 20, 29.5. Um, the reason why is because when I was trying to do the Raw Finesse video, um, the video got cut off because um, it was only able to um, record 29, 40, uh, 29 minutes and 45 and 49 seconds, and that's all. That's all you can record with it. Um, but anyways, let me get with the Raw Finesse review. Uh, for those who don't know who Raw Finesse is. By the way, this is the second album, this is what I'm reviewing. Uh, for those who don't know what Finesse is, he's an MC from MC, producer, slash DJ from, from the Bronx. He got put on by Jazzy J, you know, um, Showbiz, and you know, cats like that. Um, he got started back in the late 80s, um, back in 1987. Um, Throughout the late '80s, you know, he got his, he got put, you know, he got his start, you know, battling the MCs and shit like that. Um, and one of his his most famous battles is with um, the, at by then up and coming um, MC Percy P, you know, who was you know part of Stone Throw Records. You guys should know him. But they did a review, they did a, they did a, um, a battle. It's on it's on YouTube. Um, I'll post the link down. If I find it, I'll post it down. And they also made a video out of that, too. And um, in 1989, they came out with a video. They came out with an album called Funky Technician. And um, <clears throat> with DJ Mike Smooth, Lord Finesse. And Lord Finesse, um, you know, the Funky Technician album is considered a classic. Um, it's a classic by many. Um, by this time, Lord Finesse was making beats by then, you know. He was real, he relied production duties by you know Primo, DJ Premier, Diamond D, um, well, I believe Showbiz, and I believe that's it. Said. It wasn't until this album when he started making his own beats. Um, and by this time, like you know, Lord Finesse was affiliated with Ice T. But right, uh, when Ice T had the whole rap syndicate, of, um, he had that. That the whole movement, the whole rap syndicate thing going on back in the late 80s to the early 90s. And then uh, fast forward to 1991, two years later, going on to 1992, he released this album. Return to Funky Man, released in 1991 or 92, because a lot of people think this is, this is more... I think this album was released in 92, although it is a 91 album, but it's considered a 1992 album. But anyways, um... The singles that I was known for are um, Return of the Funky Man, self-titled, and um, Party Over Here. But Party Over Here was more of a, it was more of a 12 inch, it was more of an underground single, you know what I mean? I thought it would have been a dope video, but you know, I guess, I guess Return of the Funky Man you know, was popping, more popular, I guess. Um, Love Finesse, in my opinion, is one of the illest MCs of all time. Like, I mean, I know that's saying a lot, but oh, like, this dude got rhymes for days, man. To me, if it wasn't for him, there would be no Big L. There was no Big L. There would be no Cameron, no Mace, no Bloodshed, none, none, none of the Dipset or the Jim Jones. None of that shit would have been popping off, you know what I mean? Um, you might disagree with me, let me know. Hit me up in the comment box. I don't mind having a debate. But, um, you know, by this time, you know, Love Finesse, you know, he's like more annoying, he's getting more annoying, stuff like that. And what's interesting about this album, um, is that, um, the song Yes You May has the original version, but the remix is where, which was only a 12 inch single by, at the time, um, featured Big L, and that was Big L's first appearance on Wax. And um, you know, Big L was ripping, like ripping, you know, ripped the mic to shred. You know what I mean? Um, definitely, um, definitely, and that's what got him known. You know what I mean? And then, and you know, the brother Big O got into you know session and shit like that. Um, another thing that's crazy about this album is that um, there's there's a bonus track, but it wasn't well. The reason why I say it's a bonus track is because um, it's not featured on the CD, but back then if you bought the cassette, there's a song called um, Hands Covered Mouth Shut. Dope song. Um, I love that song. Why why it wasn't on the CD version is beyond me. I guess they was trying to, um, I guess because of, um, either, either it was manufactured 
um, manufacturers errors or they just wanted like limited I guess like limited like collector's edition type of some type of shit and they did a good job because that, that's a dope song I'll post down the link to that song um, in the description box so you guys can peep what I'm talking about I thought it should have been a CD um, version as well but that's it it's all finesse um, it's trying to funky man you know well, for those you guys should know, part of DITC, legendary hip hop producer, MC. In my opinion, very slept on, but very respected by the heads, you know what I mean? And that's it for hip hop. I'm review part 29.5. Hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the review, you know what I mean? Stay, all right, stay tuned for more. Enjoy your day. I mean, your evening, excuse me. Peace.